Hey everyone, it's Shark from Shark's Fascination. And this is actually a get ready with me. Why? Because it is. I've already primed my skin with the e.l.f. Mint Melt. You guys know if I'm going to do a look. I'm gonna, definitely, i got to clean my foundation brush today. Um, not that I don't clean it. I do clean it, but girl needs cleaned again. Um, so, my foundation, why am I wanting to? And my mirror needs clean. There you go. <laughs> because, you know, I oscillate between two different um, foundations because I still can't find the right shade. Really, I think we all have that problem. But it is what it is. So, putting this on, we all do our makeup different for reasons. We are not cookie cutters. If we were, we would be boring. Uh. There we go. Purchase them, put that back over here. And I'll clean my mirror real quick. Sort of. Anyway, so before we get to the eyeshadows that I'm going to use, which I have not used the cremated palette, period, just haven't, but I decided that it needs to go with the paranormal palette, and then I got to looking at them while they're sitting here. I'm like, is there a pattern to this? This is paranormal, and this is cremated. You figure that out. You figure it out. Oh my gosh. And then when I'm all done with the face, I will be... Now this is out of the Rich Lux collection from Gerard Cosmetics. The Slay All Day Setting Spray. I love this stuff. And you, Rich Lux, are a very funny person to talk to. He is so cool to talk to. I will tell you that. Um, I have talked to him over on Instagram. And he is so cool to just like talk to. Oh, I almost forgot I got this. I love this. So I'm actually also going to have choices of eyeliner to use. Because if you've been paying attention, if you've been paying attention, I have eyeliner from Cursed Cosmetics. And which, of course, you all know, I will leave my affiliate link. Save yourself some money while making yourself a beautiful honey maven. Um, so, and you can also help a maven out. This is a baddie eyeliner. I use it. This is the other baddie eyeliner. I do use my eyeliners. I have three of those ones. And then I have my lip liners. This is, I believe this one's Potion. I don't have my glasses on. But look at those. Those are actually true to color. I love these. Um, so before anything, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Eye Primer. I am. i got to clean my eye primer brush. You know what? It's going to be one of those weekends where I will 
probably like go through my stuff. Why that went crusty? I have no freaking idea. That is not old eye primer. It could just be the brush because it needs cleaned. There we go. It probably is just the brush because it needs a good cleaning. Oh, so there we go. Let's try this again. I know, my face looks puffy. My face has been puffy lately. Like, oh yeah, and on another day, I might use the Ojibwe palette um, with the uh, Curse Cosmetics. Because, like I was saying in that video, prices for shipping, like, oh, prices for shipping. And, like, Canada is our neighbor, but prices for shipping, ouch. You know, so anybody that lives up in Canada that watches my channel, I now know what it's like to say ouch to the shipping prices because yeah that <laughs> that and you can also use this let's say you're gonna do your brow you can actually use the uh lip liner in your brow I don't like to make like there are my days where I will do a thicker brow and there are my days where I will do a thinner brow today's a thin wrap day Yeah, our brows never turn out perfect. And the thing is, you can sharpen this, so it's like, it's no big deal. No, I'm not using concealer, but if you feel like your um, foundation makes your face a little oily, go in with your beauty blender and pick some of that up off your face definitely so what are we going into next and I don't have any concealer so obviously I'm not going into concealer so we have the cream made not the cream made we have the paranormal palette I love this palette it's beautiful and I'm thinking, okay, I wanted to take this. And of course, you know, I'll use um, white noise. I can't wait to wear these. That I have the necklace up there. Oh, I remember this shirt. And when I open, yes. And then I'm doing. Wearing this shirt while I'm doing my makeup. I love this shirt. I just haven't really like worn it out in public yet. It has Jeff's face on it. We all know what he looks like. Has a good mirror. I have swatched this palette before. Um and it's okay. So what we're going to do we are going to find my best brushes for this because of the cursed cosmetics. And my bestest brushes. 
definitely. You guys know how I am about that. I will take something and make sure that that brush is clean before I pick up an eye color and hope Jeff don't mess up the cursed. Um, <laughs> so in here, I will be starting with the color Bomp because sometimes things go bump in the night. Oh my gosh, okay. I suppose we can also do this as an assorted spoopy story time as well. So, okay. My friend and I were sitting in the kitchen this morning having coffee and breakfast, or brunch actually. There's not much kickback to that. It's because of how I took the brush into the palette. Okay, so we're sitting there. We're having a little chit-chat, playing with the cat, and, you know, Tit and he loves to be at the table. So, okay, so we're just sitting there doing that. And if you want to know, I will take white noise and put it at the cheek, you know, and use that. And sometimes what I like to do for contour, because you can do this. I use this as my contour brush. Go back into Bump. And use that as your contour might not be able to see that too well because you know my lighting. I just didn't bring out my ring light today. Like, let's say you don't want to do too much, but just enough. Contour around your face. Use that as a contour as well. Don't be afraid to do that with your palettes. Ooh, I gotta take like my little ends here. Take care of those. So yeah, you can do that. Like I said, for Cursed Cosmetics, I will definitely leave my Maven code so that you can save some money. We'll put this over here momentarily. Like I said, I have not used the cremated palette yet, except for just swatching it. Um, you know, I did buy this off of Jen from Jen's Hangout. I will leave her listed. Um, she has a Macari and a Poshmark, where you can get a few things off of her if you want. So what do we want to do? today we'll go off of what I'm wearing okay so we kind of want to go in that tone we will use okay we will choose some colors here um I might need my glasses to be able to see half of this because <laughs> that helps. Okay, we will probably go ahead and go into. I was thinking either eulogy or. Because last respects in obituary. This is obituary, and this is last respects. They're almost the same color. I mean, it's like between this, this, and this, those three are almost the same color, but aren't. We'll go ahead and go into obituary. This is Jeffrey Star. Ooh. In a while. But holy crap, that has kicked back. Watch that. 
And I went in gentle with that. Holy crap. That's got kickback. Yikes. So after that, probably only going to touch like maybe a few other colors in this. Not too much. I don't want to do too much today. I just don't feel like that, you know? Um, we might just go and rest in peace. Because... And just take that right there. I don't know. Because, yikes, I have to say, if you compare these two palettes, one has way less kickback than the other. The formula, I like them better. <laughs> formula, I like Cursed, because they don't really have all that kickback. And I know I have, what is that? Anyway, I can't read that without my glasses. And I can't read this without my glasses, so. Hearse. And then you have Paranormal. And I will be using Paranormal. Because that's what I wanted to use today was paranormal. I'm going to say like, look, as if you went over to hers, oh, the kickback. That is like kickback central. I actually took that on a brush one day just to see how much kickback is. If you really want to darken your brows a little more, just go ahead and do what I just did. Is that. There you go. Um, and then blend. Blend. So it's like, you've got a lot of fallout on one eye. Remember, my little trick is to take your foundation brush and just go sweep it up. You're good. Sweep it up because Jeff fell all over your eye. <laughs> Jeff fell all over your eye. Going to go into white noise. Take her right there. I'm right there. It doesn't take much of the white noise. You can pretty much do both cheeks with white noise. And then you've got that cheek. No, I haven't brushed my hair up, but. I'm not really worried about that right now. I would have used something out of the Jeffree Star palette, but right now she don't be looking too great to me. We're going to go back into white noise in which there's no kickback. Right up in the brow. And suppose, I don't know, I'm going to go back into white noise. 
because I didn't do the inner part of the eye, you can just take her, just layer it right there, layer it right there, and the same on this eye, layer in right there. Look at that. I love that. And then to also take her into the corner, take her to the corner store you want me looking like a whore <laughs> and you won't either um so eyeliner right eyeliner so we are going into the curse cosmetics eyeliners which one is this i think this is my black one no that's my purple one I wanted this one today. I know you'd be like, why aren't you using the orange? Because I don't feel like it. I want to use the purple. On some days, I just don't feel like using a whole bunch of color. Even though I like a beautiful looking eye, I just have my days where I just don't feel like doing too much. You know what I mean? I think we all have those days. And look how good that went on. That went on super smooth as their product always does. Why am I using such a big mirror? <laughs> This one. Now I could have taken out a different mirror, but I did not. I have a Shane Dawson mirror and a Jeffree Star mirror, in which I got both of them from John from John's hangout. That just sounded weird. Like, the sentencing of that just sounded weird. So, I just basically want to show you guys. You can put Cursed with anything and spoop up a good look. <laughs> you really can. Oh, yeah, I started to tell you a spoopy story time. And then... <gasps> We'll do a spoopy story time on another day. But even though Rob and I were sitting in the kitchen, like this morning having breakfast and all, like we heard this click, like a cabinet opening. And we thought, okay, well, the cat, you know. No, the cat was laying in the sunroom. And it sounded like a cupboard open. He loves to play with the lower cupboards. And we're like, eh, no big deal. He's just playing with the lower cupboard. No, he was not playing with the lower cupboards. Not even near him. Like I said, he was in the sunroom. Oh, MJ. So it's like, I thought about using this brown shade, but I'm not too sure like which lip liner we go with that. We're going to go ahead with this because the red one, because you can blend your colors. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lips and brush out my hair. And I will be right back. But before I brush my hair out, let's not forget to use out of the Rich Lux collaboration with Gerard Cosmetics. I will leave him linked. Um, he even has another channel where he does shopping. So. This is like, I'm going to say, 
I have tried some setting sprays and I like this one better. And it really does not take that long to set. Now I'm going to go ahead and brush out my hair and I will be back. I thought about leaving my hair down. Where's my glasses? But I'm like, I don't know. I have my days where I will let my hair stay down. And then I have my days where I do not. Um, sometimes I try to get used to just, you know, wear my hair down because I can style my very long hair and so many, is this being cut off? No. I've seen a lot of people over the last year and a half just cut their hair short or like Morgan Donner, I'll link her to. She just wanted her hair to start over, so she was showing him a whole bunch of different styles, and then just, oh, I was like, girl. <laughs> but that's okay, because, you know, her hair's actually growing back pretty good. And um, sometimes with some people, they love short hair. Um, me... I'm not really a short hair person, but that's just me. That's just my, my likeness of how, like, you hey, see my hair is like, my hair is super thick, super thick, it's super thick, hey, yo. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. I do have that thick hair, and if I don't brush it out really good while it's wet, and fix it how I want. I have to deal with a big poof of hair. I really do. I have to deal with a big poof of hair. So I can either leave it like this or just part it down the middle. I don't know. I haven't parted it down the middle in a while. We might. We might do that today. Just go ahead and part her down the middle. Because it always looks like the section of my hair is missing and it's not actually missing. I just haven't done my hair yet. I mean, 47 and I should be doing my hair more often. Then not, you know? I have to remember that this side of the screen that you look at where, where my tattoos are is my left arm. <laughs> and where the blank arm is is my right arm. I always have to try to remember that. Like, left and right. Your hair ain't always right. No, it's not. My hair is not always right. Like right here, you can tell. I should have brought my comb over here to do this. Anyway, let me finish my hair. I'll be right back. My hair didn't turn out like super perfect back here. But you know what? I'm not really worried about that. It's the weekend. Do whatever we can. Right? Hold on. Wow, it's like the powers that be don't want me to put no earrings in right now. I don't know what the heck is going on. That. Wouldn't let the other earring in, but it'll let the little spoopy in. My friend Izzy from Izzy B Creations, she has her own website. She used to have an Etsy. Now she has her own website. Um. Oh my gosh, it's the only earrings that would go in. Izzy, it's a sign. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, nothing will go in the other earring hole that I have right here. Like, I couldn't, for the life of me, not even one of these. I don't know. Like, you know, if you don't wear earrings for a while, like, your earring holes will close up. 
And I know I need to get my ears re-pierced, but come on. Oh yeah, you know what I use these for? If I'm going to store some like little bits of something over when I'm doing video, like jewelry, I put them in that. Anyway, that wouldn't go. So, anyway. Um, that was giggles. She's fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed the get ready with me. Because... I just haven't done one in a while, and I thought I would today, so stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Check out Izzy. Check out... I swear, it's like, what in the paranormal is going on? Oh yeah, check them out too. My planchette necklace and earring just fell on the freaking floor. Like, wow. Like, I didn't even touch it. I was busy with, like, my palette. Um, <laughs> so, check out Cursed Cosmetics. They have beautiful eyeshadow palettes. This is just one out of the three that I own. Um, because they have three eyeshadow palettes. They have the Paranormal palette. They have the Spellbook palette. And they have the Xmas Nightmare palette. I love all three palettes. You can use all three palettes together at the same time. Just pick and choose your colors out of it. You know, I used the Jeffree Star Cremated palette. I would have to say this has a lot of kickback. But this does not. Do they go together? The colors similar but not the same. I'm going to say that this one has more grayation. And this is like a smoky cloud of paranormal um, plasma on there. You know. Um, if you like Jeff's formula it's all right. I'm going to say that this blended better. A Jeff, 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 Jeff. We used to be friends. Your formulas are good. I almost went into this, but I'm like, eh. it wasn't my cup of tea today was not. And if you notice, it can take a little bit to get that eyeliner off. Yes, I just did that. I want to show you guys something. It's still there. It's still there. <laughs> so, anyway, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, because we all need that. And as always, stay blessed. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. And maybe when I have a new laptop, we might need to do some spoopy story time. And I will see you in the next one.